Hey guys, I'm going to try to answer a few questions on our polecats. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to end up doing a 20 unit release. I'll let you know by Sunday night. I'm probably going to have to. People are really on me about getting these. So let me show you what we got going on here. Here's a few things that I did that I think is important. See what you think. So one thing that we did is that we, we've got it set up to where you can use your shallow water anchors. If you don't want to do that, bring them up, lock them down. That way when you're trolling through stumps, it's clear of your prop. We have easy adjusting props, so you can turn it any way you want. I, I, I like to run mine just straight ahead. Another thing that we did, I like to run a heavy angle. I like for my motors to be in this position with that heavy angle so that when I get on the reverse, they're sitting right here at the boat and that prop blows up so it doesn't blow back under to your fish. But for those who just don't get it, we actually put up to a 16 degree, it's hard to do this one handed, that you can lock that in there. We're gonna keep these stainless steel pins in here we're looking at a hundred pound shear pin, so if you hit, but one cool thing about our motors is if you look, we don't go deep in the water column. So we're down here, you only want that trolling motor to run about 10 inches below the surface of the water. And I'll show you how that looks. Love my flag. So we'll raise this up. Raise the other shallow water anchor up. And we just take and we're gonna have four position switches, but right now we're just using the here at the console. So when you drop these down, all right, that's where I run mine. And I don't know if I can get far enough back where you can see. But that is the line that it runs underneath your boat. So there's the bottom of the boat, right in here. Pads down there. So that motor is running right here. With that angle up, it blows your, your prop wash into the back of the boat instead of underneath and blowing out your fish. Another thing that we did, and I didn't bolt these down so you guys can see them, we put the nice covers on here. And we actually have wire ties that we can put to keep everything secure. We actually have light strips that we're going to pre-wire for light strips. These will be mounting to the power pole bracket, so you don't have to go out and buy any special brackets. We use an adapter for that. Then, when we, um, we get these things up, I'll show you a little something else we do. We actually have got everything ordered to have a nice, and I just went with, with gray, platinum gray, wire weave to go all the way over. And we, we have done so much swapping of wires and to get the right boxes that we're going to have waterproof quick connects here like so for your actuators and then for your power. Like I said, we've got one more set of, of uh, actuators we're gonna run. So that's a breakdown of how it's gonna work, the reason we build the things we do. These motors, 80 pound thrust on 24 volts, 24 pounds on 12 volts. It has a forward and reverse. If you want to uh, kind of see how this operates, I have a little helm that we're gonna have several different ways to mount these. But this is your helm, so you can go 
forward on both. And right now the best speed I've gotten is, is 389 without touching the other trolling motor. Neutral. And if you watch the motor, when you slam into reverse, let's see if I can get this where it'll zoom again. If you watch that motor back there, it's variable speed, which at this way will allow you to twin screw, forward, reverse, turns your nose to the left, and then we're just backwards of that, turns your boat to the right. Uh, we're going to try this week to actually put a stomp switch here, connect it in with the power so that you can preset these to reverse, forward, wherever you want to, and then hit a stomp switch somewhere in this area. I ran this here because I usually just fish by myself so it's easier for me to reach from sitting at my seat. We're going to rig one up on something similar to this so that a partner that doesn't fish that's a net man. They'll be able to run the motors while you're looking at your screen. You catch the fish, your partner keeps you on the fish because you never have to touch your big motor. So that's kind of a layout of what we're doing, guys. I'll let you guys know Sunday night if I'm going to release 20. It will be only 20. Only 20. Um, stay tuned. Thanks.